This video is sponsored by Pixamins. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from Dope Motions and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this digital logo animation inside of After Effects without using any plugins. We will be creating this animation using some basic shapes and strokes. So it's super easy to create. And even if you are new to After Effects, you will be able to create your own amazing logo animation by the end of this video. So with that said, let's jump straight into After Effects and get started. Now before we start this tutorial, I just want to take a minute and give a big shout out to our today's sponsor Pixamins. Pixamins is an elite video hive author and they have recently launched this pack called Real Neon. This pack includes 100 ready to use neon scenes for your next project. All the scenes are fully customizable and super easy to edit. Add your text and logo using After Effects layer mask or just import your designs from Illustrator and you are ready to go. Add neon aesthetics to your videos with the real neon pack. They have a flat 50% off sale going on right now. So make sure to check out real neon by clicking on the first link in the description below. All right, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start with creating a new composition. Going to keep this 1920 by 1080, 30 FPS and 10 seconds long. Let's call this render as our main render comp. Hit OK. Let's create another new composition. This is going to be our logo placeholder. So let's call this logo. And finally, another composition. This is going to be the shapes. So let's call this shapes and press OK. So in the logo comp, I can drag and drop in the logo that I want to use. So I just downloaded this logo that I have. And then in the shapes composition, let, let's make some room right here. Select the pen tool, make sure the fill is set to none and set the stroke to around 50 pixels. That looks good. And then I'm going to click and hold shift and click to create a straight line. Then I'm going to animate this line. So to animate this, let's go into add and add a trim path. Go into trim paths. Then let's create a keyframe on the end property and the offset. Set the offset to minus 120 and the end property to zero. Then I'll go to 15 frames. Set the end property all the way up to 100. Go to one second and set the offset to one. So we have a one complete rotation. So now if I preview this, we have this very simple animation. Now let's go at five frames. Create a keyframe on the start property. Go to one second and set this to 100. So now we have this really nice animation. Now I want this to go at the top. So to do that, I can just simply select it, hit R and rotate it by 180 degrees. So there we go. Pretty nice. Now I'm going to hit Control D to duplicate it and create a bunch of copies. I can just move it maybe somewhere on here. Increase the size like this. Let's hit control D again. Maybe I'll place this one right here. And then I can, and also one more thing that you can do is go into the contents shape one and path, and you can adjust the path according to your requirement. Just make sure that the path doesn't go out of the frame. All right. And then let's hit control D again to duplicate it. I'm going to move. I'm going to move this one right here, bring the size of the stroke a little lower like that. Maybe move this one right here. Hit control D again. I'm going to move this one right here. Control D again, move this one just like so. And then I can just adjust the timing of this, make them as random as possible like so. And there we have this really nice animation as you can see. Just try to make it as complex as possible. So I can select this one. Maybe I'll place it like so. All right. So that is looking pretty good, I think. Now let's create another new composition called this elements. Hit OK and drag the shape composition. 
So here we have it. And then go into effects and preset and search for transform. Apply that and then search for an effect called polar coordinates. Apply that. Set the type of conversion from polar to rect to rect to polar and set this to all the way up to 100%. And then right over here in the rotation, I'm going to set this to 90. So now we have something like this. Now let's go at the very start, select the layer, hit R to bring down the rotation properties. Create a keyframe on the rotation and set this to minus 200. Go to one second and 15 frames and set this to plus 250. So now we have something like this, which looks pretty cool. We can select the keyframes. You can hit F9 or go into keyframe assistant and easy ease them. Then let's duplicate this hit control D to duplicate it. Let's move this a few frames forward like that. So we have a couple of copies and try to make it look as complex as possible. So I can place this one right here. I can hit S and bring down the scaling like so. Hit control D again. Let's move this like this. Let's increase the scale. Hit control D. Let's move this one right over here. Bring down the scale amount like so. Let me move this a bit more forward in time. Also, one more thing that I'm going to do is select this hit control D to duplicate it. Hit S to bring down the scale property and let's set this to negative 33%. And we can change the timing or adjust it. Now let's go back and create another new composition called this animation and drag the elements composition inside of this. So here we have it. Now again, I'm going to duplicate it and create a few copies here. So hit control D, move this a few frames forward in time, hit control D again and move this forward. Then let's change this one track mat to alpha mat. This is going to make it look a bit more complex. I can increase the scale amount a little bit. like so as you can see it looks pretty cool i think we can add more copies if we want to so i can hit ctrl d let's turn this on and maybe increase the scale amount a little bit like that i can hit r and rotate this as well so now we have a bit more complex looking animation which has a little bit of glitch and it looks pretty damn cool yeah Pretty happy with this. Now let's go into our main render comp. I'm going to hit control Y to create a new solid and call this BG for background. I'm going to keep it black. Then let's add the logo composition that we have here. Add the animation comp on top of that. Select the track mat and set this to alpha mat. So now we have something like this, which looks pretty cool. Let's increase the size of the logo. So what I'm going to do here is hit F4, turn on the collapse transformation for the logo, hit S and scale this up like so. So now we have this really interesting look. Let's duplicate this. So hit control D to duplicate it. And let's move a few frames forward in time and then bring down the scale of logo to somewhere around um, 100 should be fine, I think. Yeah. So now there we go. And finally, let's duplicate this one more time. Hit control D. We can delete the animation and we only need the logo comp. And let's move this a few frames forward in time. So here we have, let's go right here. Hit T to bring down the opacity, create a keyframe, go at the very start and set this to zero. So there we go, looking pretty nice. I can adjust the positioning of this. So yeah, that is looking much better. Select it and let's ease, ease the keyframes. So there we go, looking pretty nice now. Finally, let's add some nice um, zoom animation on this. So I'm going to right click and create a new null object called this zoom and make sure you hit F4 and set this to no track mat. By the way, if your track mat option is not visible, make sure to press F4 on the keyboard that should make it visible and then parent everything except the background to the 
null object hit s to bring down the scale property let's go somewhere around there and set this to let's go with something like 200 200 is a bit too much i think so let's go add 170 create a keyframe let's go a few frames forward and um set this to 100 then select the keyframes and easy ease them go into the graph editor right click and select edit speed graph let's zoom in a bit and then move this handle to the left so now we have a really quick movement of camera but i think it's a bit too fast i'm gonna place it at the time that i think is nice so i'm gonna yeah i think this is pretty nice pretty cool yeah that is looking good and then let's add some final touches like the glow and the noise so right click and create a new adjustment layer called this glow go into effects and presets and search for glow double click to apply this let's increase the radius to around 50 and bring down the glow intensity to 0.3 or 0.2 should be fine duplicate this glow hit ctrl d increase the radius to 300 and yeah that is looking good maybe increase in, increase the intensity to one so there we have some very nice glows as you can see pretty cool yeah i can bring down the intensity here so i can go right here hit t to bring down the so i'm gonna go right here so i'm gonna go right here and create a keyframe on the glow intensity hit u so we can see the keyframes go right here and set this to zero so here we have this really nice reveal i think we need to play around with the keyframes a bit so yeah yeah that is looking much better and finally whenever you're working with glows always make sure to add some noise in order to avoid any kind of color bending so let's go to effects and preset search for noise double click to apply that uncheck these two options and set this to four or three percent should be fine and there we have some very nice uh, glows as you can see and boom there we have our logo reveal pretty awesome now if you want to make it look a bit more complex you can anytime go into the base shape that we created and you know i can just simply duplicate a bunch of stuffs i can maybe move this like so and just play around with this so something like that just trying to make it as uh, random as possible and boom there you go you have made a really complex looking animation so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did make sure to like this video subscribe to the channel if you're new here and press that bell icon so you always get notified whenever i post a new video you can also follow me on instagram at dope.motions and if you're feeling generous please do support us on patreon links are in the description below with that said i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out